Okay, so this is a really quick speed tutorial on how I implemented my door. Uh, just really quickly showing you here the meshes that I removed, uh, the meshes that I replaced, and using the tri shape data, not the knee node, to adjust them. Now, this is not my first time doing it, this is me doing a quick sort of speed run through it, even though I still made a couple mistakes, just to quickly show you how I did it. Um, so, I'm just replacing the data here and aligning it. I don't know if this is the correct way. I think maybe you could jump a few steps, which you'll be able to see at the end, but this is how I did it anyway. So I just completely replaced it as the way I did it before. So I'll speed up here to get past the boring bit of me just assigning textures, moving things around, getting it all lined up. Uh, and as you'll be able to see, uh, once we get to the right part, you'll be able to see that um, the peel point for the door is not in the right place. Uh, so what I did see it's right in the center so what I did is I applied the transformations that were on the node and this moved the door back to a different place but you see the peel point now is right in the center of the door on the yellow point which is on the origin so if we get that yellow point the knee node origin to line up with the hinges of the door just by applying the transforms and making sure you know just manually bit by bit moving the points I don't know if there's any efficient way to do it just by doing it in increments. So once you get those points lined up with the uh, the door, you use a tri shape data area to adjust the door in relation to the knee node. So regardless of where the door ends up with the knee node, which is the main part, that's essentially your hinge in this setup. You then just adjust the tri shape data for the door itself and line that up. So don't apply the transformations on the knee node, but you can apply the transforms within the tri shape itself. And once this is done, bit by bit, and you get everything lined up, you should have the animation all set and ready to be implemented into Skyrim.